It's me, Mr. Voice. Welcome to this new series called Desktop Chemistry. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make chlor chlorine indicator for your swimming pool out of stuff that you can get in your local uh, grocery store. First, we're going to need some blue food coloring. As, as you can see, it has to contain E133, also known as indigo carmine. It doesn't contain that, it ain't gonna work. So what you do is first, with ordinary water, you're gonna have to pour just a few drops of this food coloring to create your, to create the start of your indicator solution. It should stay blue. Now, this alone is not an indicator for chlorine, as I will demonstrate right now. Just adding a little bit of any chlorine containing uh, compound in this uh, case we have uh, sodium dichloroisocyanurate now just add a little bit of this and you can see that nothing will happen what happens if it, it stays blue that's all that happens basically it doesn't work you get nothing out of nothing so what you gotta do is you need a strong mineral acid or a partially neutralized acid salt in this case, I'm using sodium bisulfate, but hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid would work better. So what you do is you, dissolve, you add your acidic salt or acid to, to your indicator solution. You gotta be generous with this salt because it's not that strong. Then you have to swish it around and the solution should turn green. This means that your solutions now your indicator is now active once you see this color change it should turn like a little leafy green with a slight tinge of yellow it means your indicator solution is now activated a little bit of this solution dropped into this previous container which only contained our chlorine granules will cause a very dramatic change to occur as you can see it turns orange it detects the presence of chlorine now you're wondering just how sensitive is this indicator well I'm gonna show you just how sensitive it is here we have a little bit of our sodium dichloroisocyanurate now th this is drinking water by the way this water has no chlorine in it why would the hell would they put chlorine in drinking water bottled water so I add just literally few drops of this substance you can see there's only very 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 little chlorine in this now i need something to mix it I'm gonna quickly look for something uh, something that has no contamination okay here i got a pen So what you do is I just mix this. This just contains another, another experiment, so it should be nothing. And you can test this yourself to check in case you think I did something wrong. What you do is you got just a little bit of chlorine in here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna drop your indicator solution into this. All of a sudden, just with a few drops of that chlorine containing compound, it, it doesn't stay blue, immediately it turns yellow. Yes, this solution is very sensitive. The more acid you add, the more sensitive. But if you add too much acid, you'll end up destroying the dye. You can see, the moment the solution hits the water, it changes from blue to red. You can see that there's a just from that tiny amount, so like three granules of this in this entire you know container the whole thing just up and turned now you're probably thinking wait what if you just diluted it and that's the only reason why it changed color for some stupid reason well let me get some more water I'll just dump this in here Just wash it with tap water. Now. Then 
gonna go get some drinking water. So this is the show. I hope I, I washed it enough. There's three granules. It should be enough. I don't want to waste it again. That was too much last time, but it was improving a point here. So anyway, just like before, add a little bit of water. Still a bit of uh, acid salt in here. Add a little bit of our indicator. turns green we're all set so we're gonna do is we're gonna drop this in here you're gonna see that it's blue it's blue but drop a granule we drop a granule of chlorine containing compound just one granule this time you're gonna see that that blueness will disappear That is not blue anymore. See, just from that one granule, it slowly just turns red. Now, discovered this by accident, but hey, it's it's better than wasting your money in for you know pool chlorine indicator that will cost you like ten times more than this. You know, I've seen sets that go for like thirty dollars. If, you, if I were to convert currencies versus buying cheap ass food coloring and to be honest even uh, citric acid, lemon salt and vinegar will work but the mi mineral acid you can buy for like five bucks will also fucking work. You know, depending on which country you live in it's still way cheaper to make your own chlorine indicator than actually buying it. So this is econ this is uh, good economically. Whoa! My pants are, my shorts are blue, so, you know, I have no problems with this. Alright. I'm going to pack everything up, and I'm going to put everything back, and I'm going to see you guys in the next episode.